All right, let's ride. You're watching Philadelphia Eagles now right here on Chat Sports. I'm Chase Senior. Hope all of you are having a fantastic week, and we appreciate all of you for watching because we have another loaded show coming your way on the docket. I do want to begin with this, though. This is a pivotal offseason for this football team coming off a Super Bowl 57 loss. Several starters expected to be free agents, and I think this team is going to be a lot different in 2023 than it was in 2022. But if you're excited to see what the birds do this offseason, I want you to hit that thumbs up icon and like the video because I'm anticipating that Howie Roseman going to be very busy over the next couple of months. Let's begin today's show with this. Could Jalen Carter, the stud defensive tackle from the Georgia Bulldogs, fall to the Eagles at number 10 following his legal situation? And if everything checks out, I'd be highly intrigued by the birds taking him at that 10 spot right now. He's currently back in Indianapolis for the NFL Scouting Combine to do some of his interviews with teams as well as do his, do his measurements as today at the NFL Combine. Defensive linemen are working out, running their 40-yard dashes. An arrest warrant was issued for him on Wednesday for his alleged role in a fatal crash after the Bulldogs won the national championship, and he was wanted on a charge of reckless driving. Now, the big question here. How will this legal situation impact the draft board? Because Jalen Carter, according to many accounts, was a potential player to go at number one to the Chicago Bears. But is he going to slide down draft boards now because of this legal situation? And if he does, he's an option for the Philadelphia Eagles at number 10. If everything checks out legally for Jalen Carter and he is cleared of any wrongdoing and he doesn't have any charges against him, He's what the Eagles love in a, in a defensive tackle. He's very versatile. He has great size. Last year in 2021, while playing with the Georgia Bulldogs, it wasn't Jordan Davis, who is the best player on that team. A lot of people were talking about Jalen Carter as the best player and defensive lineman on that team that also won a national championship. And for the Eagles, it would make sense to think about taking Carter at number 10. Javon Hargrave is going to be a free agent. He could cash in in the neighborhood of about 20 $20 million dollars per year. Fletcher Cox also going to be a free agent and I have an inclination that he is not going to take a hometown discount. So then if you take Carter, you team him up with his former Georgia teammate in Jordan Davis and I think at those two defensive tackle spots you start to groom them to potentially be one of the best defensive tackle combinations in the National Football League. When you talk about Jalen Carter, he's a stud. He's a franchise cornerstone. This is a building block that can be a part of your franchise and a pillar of it for the next 8 to 10 years. But of course, we're going to have to see how this legal situation plays out, which made huge headlines on day one of the combine. Here is the statement from the Athens Clark County Police Department about Carter and why they wanted him to come back to Georgia to figure out what's going on with this certain matter, a matter in which two people did pass away after the Bulldogs won that national championship. The investigation found that Chandler LaCroix, driver of the 2021 Ford Expedition and Jalen Carter, driver of a 2021 Jeep Trackhawk, were operating their vehicles in a manner consistent with racing shortly after leaving the downtown Athens area at about 2.30 a.m. The evidence demonstrated that both vehicles switched between lanes, drove in the center turn lane, drove in opposite lanes of travel, overtook other, other motorists, and drove at high rates of speed in an apparent attempt to outdistance each other. And the other car, unfortunately, crashed into some telephone poles and two people passed away, a player on the Bulldogs roster as well as a staff member. So obviously this is somewhat risky and there's still some things to figure out. But if everything does check out and Carter falls to the Eagles at number 10, what would you do if you were in the shoes of Howie Roseman? D for draft, R for too risky? Let me know down in the comment section. Here is the statement from Carter. This was before he went back to Indianapolis for the scouting combine. It is my intention to return to Athens to answer the misdemeanor charges against me and to make certain that the complete and accurate truth is presented. There is no question in my mind that when all of the facts are known, I will be fully exonerated of any criminal wrongdoing. So him and his lawyer, they feel good about this case currently. So once again, you look at this question here, and you look at the statement from the police department, 
and Jalen Carter statement. Have you come to a conclusion here? Have you changed your mind? Share your thoughts down below with us. Why the Eagles could think about drafting him. When I scout him, dude's a freak. 6'3", 300 pounds. A pro football focus grade of 92.3 last year. He's very fast and twitchy for his size. He gets around blocks like a linebacker because he has really good bend, even though he is 300 pounds. I like his versatility. He can play outside. He can play inside. And the Eagles love to stack up on defensive linemen and... They have those two aforementioned free agents in Javon Hargrave and Fletcher Cox. Head to wecultivate.us slash chat sports to have a more safe shopping experience. And also that helps you save some money as well. Cultivate is a free browser extension that brings transparency to your Amazon shopping experience. Cultivate shows you the brand seller and product origin and identifies local alternatives that support local community efforts while saving you money. With over 50% of Amazon US sellers based in China, Cultivate offers a way to avoid trickery from these sellers and keep money in the US economy. Cultivate offers alternatives that are on average 30% less expensive than Amazon without any additional costs such as Amazon Prime. It can even identify local alternatives that you could pick up the same day. Cultivate users also earn free donations as rewards for using the extension. And the more you use it, the more in donations you get by increasing your level. I used it the other day. I put some items in my cart to test it out. I had the items in my cart, but then Cultivate was able to populate either same or similar items for a fraction of the price at stores that were local for me. So what are you waiting for? Head to wecultivate.us slash chat sports, download Cultivate for free, and let Cultivate bring transparency, savings, and community support to your Amazon shopping journey. Support the show, download it with our link. It's down in the comment section and in the description of today's video. Here. This goes to show you the versatility that he has. So you take a look at the gaps here, the A gaps and the B gaps. So he lined up on the A-gap, that's kind of nose tackle position, 30 snaps last year with Georgia. He was on the B-gap on 255 snaps and had a pro football focus grade of 92.3. He was over the tackle on kind of that edge spot, 83 snaps for a grade of 80, and he was outside the tackle on 20 snaps and had a pro football focus grade of 79.4. So Jalen Carter has freakish athletic ability. He's really twitchy, has good bend getting around offensive linemen. He can certainly exploit mismatches going up against slow and sluggish centers and guards, but as you see with the alignment here, he can also line up against the tackle and even outside the tackle if Sean Desai wants to get creative with this Eagles defensive formation. Now make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're a real one because we've been doing draft content every single week. Scouting profiles on a lot of these prospective draft targets for Philadelphia. And of course, whenever news happens like Sean Desai getting hired, Brian Johnson getting promoted, we had two videos out faster than any other YouTube channel. So subscribe today, turn on your notifications. Therefore, when we do go live or we push out a video, you will be notified. Howie Roseman saying from the NFL Combine that Hurts deserves a, quote, tremendous contract. For Jalen Hurts, it's a really safe investment for the Philadelphia Eagles to give him a contract extension because he has everything that you want in a franchise quarterback and for a guy who is already the face of your franchise. Work ethic, Check. Good character, he has it. Leadership qualities, he displayed that all throughout this year as the locker room really rallied around him. Intangibles, he has it at that quarterback position, which I think is really paramount as a leader of the football team and no character concerns at all throughout his entire life. Here's what Roseman had to say about giving his quarterback a big payday. You want to find something that he feels really good about with this contract and at the same time that we feel good about and surround him with good players. He knows that. He's a smart guy. He understands that. That doesn't mean that it's not going to be a tremendous contract for him because he deserves that too. So there's the tremendous contract part of that. He has elite arm strength. Anything you tell him to do, you saw his completion percentage, his accuracy jump. At the end of the day, he has special talent and you come 
combine that with the special football mind and special work ethic, and it gives him a chance to be a special player. My hope for this new Jalen Hurts contract extension, he's talked about how he's all about the team. We know that he has great leadership qualities and intangibles. He's a great leader for this organization. If he takes a team-friendly deal, he'll become a lifelong hero in the city of Philadelphia because fans understand that when quarterbacks are given $50 million per year, that can gut the rest of your roster. And you can have a top-heavy team like, let's say, the fraudulent Dallas Cowboys. They paid Dak Prescott all that money. That's why they have a bunch of holes across that roster. But by taking a team-friendly deal, Jalen Hurts could allow the Eagles to surround him with premier offensive talent to give Devontae Smith, so to speak, a large contract and still have A.J. Brown and Dallas Goddard, a really good offensive line, and to have a deep and talented roster as well. So, what do you think? You know all about Jalen Hurts and how he carries himself. Will he take a hometown discount? Why for yes and for no. Next up, C.J. Gardner-Johnson, a huge priority for the Eagles in free agency. This is something that we've been talking about over the last couple of weeks, and this is something that we talked about after I interviewed him during Super Bowl week when I asked him point blank, do you want to come back to Philadelphia? He said, who wouldn't want to come back here? It's a great place. I love it here. This coming from Fox Sports, re-signing C.D. Deuce, a high priority for the Eagles according to a team source, though he might be looking to become one of the highest paid safeties in the NFL, which would be hard for the Eagles to do. If they can't, they may have to get creative to find someone to fill his shoes or what Philadelphia could also do it's just levy the franchise tag. Now, Howie Roseman is very smart with how he does these contracts. The Eagles as an organization have not used a franchise tag on a player since 2012 with Deshaun Jackson back at the time. I'd love to bring him back if it comes at the right cost. If he wants to be one of the highest paid safeties in the NFL, that's going to be a tough pill to swallow. But C.J. Gardner-Johnson still in his mid-20s. He showed that he could go from nickel cornerback to safety He's really valuable, and he could be a building block for this defense for a long while, and I love the swagger and the confidence that he also brings to this defense. Before we hop on out of here for this segment, if you want to interact with me, if you have a question about the Eagles during the draft and free agency, make sure you hit me up on Twitter and Instagram at Chase underscore senior. It's the same handle on both platforms. 